made the five o'clock alarm. It's good news. So I'm going to do my stretching routine in a minute. Um, my legs feel quite good after yesterday's run. They're not as stiff as they were after box size, which is good. So the stretching's working. I've got a two-mile run today. It's not another 5K. Uh, marathon pace. So we'll see how that goes this afternoon. I snow today, so I'll have to wait for some of the pavements to be cleared and, and whatnot. So it will be this afternoon when I do that. So on to the stretching. Later. That's my stretching done. It's quite interesting, really. One of the pauses, one of the stretches I've not been able to do properly up till today, and I managed to do it on my left hand side today uh, and get into position and hold it. I just couldn't couldn't get my body into the position before, so the stretching's clearly working because I can get into it now. On my left side, it's still too tight. On my right side, to get into it fully, how he does it on the on the video. We're getting a lot closer to it on the right hand side, but it's interesting to see the progress that's that's coming because I couldn't do it on the left side either before, and I've, I've done it today, so that's good. Now, now I'm all stretched off and loose. It's time to go shovel some drives. Let's go. One eternity later. I'm just about to do some stretching, an active uh, stretching warm up, ready to go on my run for the day. Uh, it's a two mile run. Uh, it's supposed to be at my marathon pace, which when it comes to the marathon will hopefully be nine minutes or under per mile for the duration of the marathon, but we'll see how that goes. I don't think I'll be quite there yet in the first week of training. We'll see how this uh, pans out. I'll put a photo of the route I've done up. Um, it should be one mile one way, one mile back, and we'll see what pace I can achieve at this current time in the in the training schedule if anyone wants to know what my training schedule looks like i'll post the first page of it which is week one and two um i'll put a picture up as well after this so that's it i just finished the two miles uh you can quite get out to die a minute miles or somewhere about 9.20 ish um, it's not bad uh, obviously I can improve on that as the training progresses and I lose a bit of weight and get a bit quicker etc so I'm quite pleased things I struggled with um, get my breathing right I really struggled the first mile um, probably I was probably running quicker for the first mile than I was the second actually, um, but I struggled with my breathing. Um, and just just get the pacing right is it's going to be a challenge for me to find out what what's comfortable and what's too quick and what's too slow and just getting it right. But there's plenty of time before October to work on these things, which is good. Um, I'm just going to go and have a stretch now and then I'll grab some tea. Well, just a quick recap on the day. So I've done my stretching this morning and I've done my two mile run. So I'm hitting the, hitting the activities that I'm supposed to be doing daily, which is good. Feeling um, a bit sore in my right leg. Um, on my knee and down my shin. That's not uncommon for me when I start running. Um, over the first couple of weeks I, I tend to get sore parts in my leg and then it tends to go away but I'm looking at getting some new running shoes which might hopefully help that um, hopefully this weekend we'll see how it goes um, I'm going to get fitted I'm going to go to a running shop and get they analyse your run, your step, your stride uh, how you're planting your feet um, pick out some shoes for for you that suit your running style so I'm going to do that this weekend um, and hopefully that will have an impact and reduce the stress on my right leg because that's where it all, all seems to be stemming from so just down there, my right leg and hopefully getting a new pair of, of runners that are fitted for purpose will, will help aid in that um, I don't want to start missing training for having sore parts so hopefully 
um, I can address it early on and and it'll go away when I get into to the thick of it. Um, and there we go. Tomorrow's a rest day uh, and Saturday's a rest day and then Sunday I've got a 10k to do. It's also my birthday on Sunday so that'll be fun. Nice 10k birthday fun run. Uh, it's an easy run though. It says uh, pace easy so that'll be, that'll be good. Um, so I'm going to probably take Saturday as a proper rest day and, and not do any exercise at all on Saturday. Tomorrow I might hit the box size again. Um, and in fact I will hit the box size again tomorrow and then take Saturday off as a full rest day to let my body have a rest. And then Sunday, i say the 10k will be good, followed by maybe a nice bath if I can brave that, we'll see. Okay, thanks for following, thanks for the support. Um, we'll go again tomorrow. Thank you.